Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem fifty-one in chapter eleven. Chapter eleven is about angular momentum. So in this one, you can see we have this system: a thin road, the mass and the length is given, and then a clay just hit it. The mass is given, right? And then we need to determine the translation and rotation motion after this collision. So first one we consider after the collision. The stick and the clay will do circular motion this way. So first step, we need to find the rotation axis. So we can determine it is zero. So how can we decide it where the position is? It is just the center of mass for the clay and also the sticks. So you can see we consider this point as reference point zero. And then the center of mass for this position, for this、uh, system stick and the clay is just a capital M times zero plus the small m times、uh, one fourth of the L, and then divided by total mass, we get is y c m. So the y c m is this one. So that means this is the rotation axis. So this part, this length is a radius for capital M for sticks. This one right, and this is the length. For the clay, agree. So now this length r small m is、uh, l divided by four fourth l minus the y c m. Then we get it is zero. Now we can say we need to find the angular momentum is conserved because no external force act on this system. Initial angular momentum equal to final angular momentum, and、uh, initially only the Clay has a motion, and finally the clay and the sticks attaches together and do the rotation axis. So angular velocity is omega. Now we can solve this equation. We can see we need to find the I m. This one is the momentum of inertia for the clay. Mass R m square, right? Mass R m square. This is the rotation axis there, and then for the sticks, the angular Momentum of inertia around this rotation axis is one over twelve m l square plus the capital M r m square. This one. This, so this part is the momentum of inertia for the center of mass for the sticks. Then the it do use the parallel rules. It moves this length, so it become m r m square. Input these two inside in this equation. We get the final answer for omega. Thank you.